In object-oriented programming, a destructor sometimes abbreviated DTOR is a method which is automatically invoked when the object is destroyed. It can happen when its lifetime is bound to scope and the execution leaves the scope, when it is embedded in another object whose lifetime ends, or when it was allocated dynamically and is released explicitly. Its main purpose is to free the resources memory allocations, open files or sockets, database connections, resource locks, etc. which were acquired by the object during its life and or deregister from other entities which may keep references to it. Use of destructors is needed for the process of resource acquisition as initialization in a language with an automatic garbage collection mechanism, it would be difficult to deterministically ensure the invocation of a destructor, and hence these languages are generally considered unsuitable for RAII. In such languages, unlinking an object from existing resources must be done by an explicit call of an appropriate function usually called dispose. This method is also recommended for freeing resources, rather than using finalizers for that. <laughs> Destructor syntax In C++, destructors have the same name as the class with which they are associated, but with a tilde, tilde prefix. In D, destructors are declared with name tilde this whereas constructors are declared with this. In object Pascal, destructors have the keyword destructor and can have user-defined names, but are mostly named destroy. In Objective C, the destructor method is named deloc. In Perl, the destructor method is named destroy, in the Moose object system extension, it is named demolish. In 5 Philippine pesos, the destructor method is named underscore underscore destruct. There were no destructors in prior versions of PHP. In Python there are underscore underscore del underscore underscore methods called destructors by the Python 2 language guide, but they are actually finalizers as acknowledged in Python 3. In Swift, the destructor method is named dynet. <laughs> Topic. In C++ The destructor has the same name as the class, but with a tilde, tilde before it. For example, a class called foo will have the destructor tilde foo. Additionally, destructors have neither parameters nor return types. As stated above, a destructor for an object is called whenever the object's lifetime ends. If the object was created as an automatic variable, its lifetime ends and the destructor is called automatically when the object goes out of scope. Because C++ does not have garbage collection, if the object was created with a new statement dynamically on the heap, then its destructor is called when the delete operator is applied to a pointer to the object. Usually that operation occurs within another destructor, typically the destructor of a smart pointer object. In inheritance hierarchies, the declaration of a virtual destructor in the base class ensures that the destructors of derived classes are invoked properly when an object is deleted through a pointer to base class. Objects that may be deleted in this way need to inherit a virtual destructor. A destructor should never throw an exception. Topic. Example Objects which cannot be safely copied and or assigned should be disabled from such semantics by declaring their corresponding functions as deleted within a public encapsulation level. 
A detailed description of this method can be found in Scott Meyer's popular book, Effective Modern C++ item 11, Prefer deleted functions to private undefined ones. Topic: In C with GCC extensions. The new compiler collection C compiler comes with two extensions that allow implementing destructors. The destructor function attribute allows defining global prioritized destructor functions. When main returns, these functions are called in priority order before the process terminates. See also, Hacking the Art of Exploitation. The cleanup variable attribute allows attaching a destructor function to a variable, the function is called when the variable goes out of scope. <laughs> Zojo Destructors in Zojo Real Basic can be in one of two forms. Each form uses a regular method declaration with a special name with no parameters and no return value. The older form uses the same name as the class with a tilde tilde prefix. The newer form uses the name destructor. The newer form is preferred because it makes refactoring the class easier. Class foobar Old form sub tilde foobar end sub new form sub destructor end sub end class topic see also finalizer constructor computer science Object lifetime Resource acquisition as initialization <laughs>